All that, hot topics, and more. Coming up on The View. The New England Journal of Medicine showed what decades of sun exposure did to a 69-year-old truck driver's oh face, God. making it shockingly clear that the sun can ravage your skin. But there are brand new ways to protect yourself that may even save your life. And here to tell us about them, we're glad to have Dr. Doris Day back. Welcome. Uh, we obviously are all were shocked by that image when it first came out. What was your reaction when you saw it? Well, for anybody who thinks you don't need sun protection, this is one great example of a, of a control trial where you can see on, right. the, on the side that the, the driver was driving. And as dermatologists, we often see more skin cancer on the left side of the face because that's the side of the car. Okay. Now, UVA goes right through glass. We call oh, it the does? aging yes. rays. So you have to protect even if the window is up. Oh. And we know that all wavelengths of light do cause skin cancer. So you need to protect every day, all year round, okay. even if you're just driving. So what you have brought with us today are ways to protect um, and take yes. care of our skin. So we want to start general tips for buying sunscreen. What should we be looking for? There are so many products out there. And right. up that, to what number? Okay, so right. you have a lot of great choices. First, look for UVA and UVB protection. It should say broad spectrum. Okay. You want one that's an SPF 30 or higher. The limit will be ultimately SPF 50. We're hoping it goes higher, but you know what? Nobody applies enough. So if you're applying a 30, you're lucky if you're getting a 15. Oh my gosh. Because okay. no one uses enough. Now you want to apply enough of it. So apply liberally or generously and reapply every few hours because I see burns where people said they use sunscreen right. and I'm sure they did, but they didn't reapply it and it was gone. Let me ask and you now this. they burn. Maybe what about the difference? Should go on the beach with clothing. That too. They make sun protective clothing. clothing on the beach. Yeah, but they make sun protective clothing because like a, a white no. t shirt and a blue t shirt have different. Yeah, protection be, factors. So, so which you is need better? to darker is better. But really? if you get clothing that has sun protection built in, then you don't a have to worry about the color. Now, especially kid products. My too. grandson the has come. that. He has a bathing suit yes. that's sun protection. Right. What, what about protects what it covers? Spray versus lotion. What what provides better coverage? Okay, whatever you use will provide better coverage. Okay. So that's one. But two, there's ones that are continuous spray and ones that are mist. Okay. So look for a continuous can spray. Okay. And even if no, you no. have skin of color, that's you need sun protection. Absolutely. What's good for me? Okay. So for you, a spray would be good, something okay. that doesn't have if it has zinc or titanium, because those can be pasty white and right. it doesn't give a good color, but they come tinted now right. and they come clear. So the chemical sunscreens, powder ones come in all colors. So if you have makeup on, you can put it over this, makeup, okay. which is really nice. This is I all love for that. face, right? So tell us this what do you is, have here. This is general. So this is for face or body. Is that one the face? Yep. Yeah. And so that one's nice because whether you have acne, dry skin, oh, eczema, oh, whatever right. your skin condition is, there is a sunscreen for you out there. So if you are active, you can look for a sports block gel. Yes. That won't run into your eyes oh, they have when gels you now. they have gels that's good. and that's so great for the face the powder is good over powder's makeup good over makeup and, and for these are these ones I like anti-aging I want my products to multitask I'm too busy to be doing five million different things and I'm lazy actually so and, well, if I can have a sunscreen here. and that's one that I made I okay. love that one you know, Dars, I got a sunburn on my feet the other day yes because I was wearing yeah. sandals so now I have a stripe across my foot Not absolutely attractive. top of the feet can yeah, burn yeah. the ears, the yeah. lips. You need sun protection for the lips. These lips. are SPF 30 and 45. What if your, your lip? Lips, what yeah. if you have lip gloss that doesn't have an SPF? Is that like you wearing can oil? Burn more. Burnt lips. Yeah. Burnt lips. That's Fried not lips. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bright lips. Well, I'm gonna wear one of those beekeeper uniforms. So these are some outfits, great know? options that's to protect your lips. Yeah. <laughs> the beekeeper. Yeah. Okay. This is a lip option that there's, you have. That's yeah, great. Yeah. There's great lip options. You can put this on under your your lip gloss, okay. and that's really nice. And then we talked about the spray, and this one I brought because it says continue a spray that's really critical if you're not sure you can still rub it in but yes. the mists or the spray lotions have to be rubbed in or they don't protect oh really yeah. they have so to be I rubbed in if it's a if it's a lotion well, listen, or a mist the continuous I, spray what is about different the afternoon sun is there any difference like if you go in the water at say four or five it's better than one or two right it's, it's better but you still need protection and the sun can go down a few feet into water too so even underwater you still need to protect if you're snorkeling you, you can burn there too i want to talk about this next uh, machine which is a melafine this is a new procedure which which actually I think is currently saving my life, like it or not. Um, <laughs> this is really uh, incredible in terms of strides with prevention, right? So Absolutely. you basically take a picture of suspicious moles, and I'll let you explain it, but you did it to me, and we found something that was suspicious, and so we took a biopsy. Oh. That's right, yeah. So, you know, our biggest nightmare as dermatologists is to miss a melanoma. Right. And so we do skin cancer screenings every year, and there are some spots I know are nothing. Those ones I leave alone. Right. There's some I'm worried about, and those ones I know to remove. But there's those in-between ones where patients will come in, and they say, this spot is changing or I'll notice something suspicious about it. So then I can mark those and then 
and we have a volunteer here. We have Jenna, who has kindly volunteered to, uh, to do a demonstration for us, and okay. Paige will do the scan. So with, without a biopsy, without any pain, without cutting into the skin, in less than a minute, we can pick a spot. Now, this had a little darker spot in the bottom I of see it, that. And, and that makes it a little bit suspicious, so okay. we can scan it, and this is how it goes. And this looks through the skin in wavelengths of light that I can't even see with my naked eye, yeah. and it will give me in less than a minute an answer of it, of it if it's high or low morphologic disorder. And that really helps me not only know if I need to remove it, but how deep I need to go. And then once I remove it, I wow. can go back and look at the it's picture, phenomenal. and then know more about her and what other spots I might need to remove for her. And it helps me prioritize. So there are some spots that will say low, I'll leave those alone. Other ones I'll know to remove over time and watch them So as no well. more biopsies. Well, no, no you, you still biopsy. Still. But it's different. But it helps you take some guesswork out in terms of how much to biopsy, how deep to go. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's actually fantastic. Cool. It That's is. Great. It's first it's of remarkable. its kind, and it's just FDA approved. It is really exciting. Just it was time, 20 years in the sun is killing us. Yeah. Dr. Dave, we want to thank you for taking good care of us and our skin. Hey, we will be right back.